Now in this question we are trying to figure out what k cat for an enzyme is and what we've got is a Vmax that is what we've determined for this reaction and we know that we used 20, 20, 23 microliters of an enzyme stock solution and our total volume of the reaction was 3 milliliter which is uh, very often a very uh, sort of standard reaction volume. So we know that KCAT is defined as the Vmax, the maximum speed of the reaction, divided by the total enzyme concentration, and I write it like that. So the total enzyme concentration that we have in our, uh, in our mixture. Now we need to figure out what is our total enzyme concentration. We know that we have taken 23 microliter of the stock solution. So we put 23 microliter into our reaction and it gives us a total volume of 3 milliliter. And the stock solution had a concentration of 29 nanomolar. So what we can do is we can calculate a dilution factor. So in this case, the dilution factor would be, so dilution factor would be 23 microliter in a total volume of 3000 microliter. That's our three milliliter here. And then in order to find the concentration that we have here in our solution, the enzyme concentration, that's quite easy. What we can do is we can just simply say the concentration of the enzyme is the dilution factor multiplied by the concentration of the stock solution, so 29 nanomolar. And that is how we can uh, calculate this enzyme concentration. Now we've got Vmax, that is a given, so we've got everything that we need. Let's just uh, quickly calculate the concentration of the enzyme by putting in the numbers. So we have 23 divided by 3000, the microliter cancel out, times 29 nanomolar. And that gives us roughly 0 0.22 times 10 to the minus 9 molar. So that's our enzyme concentration. And we just simply put that into kcat, into the equation. So we've got kcat equals 75.5 times 10 to the minus 6 molar, that's the micromolar per minute, per minute, and we divide that by 0 0.22 times 10 to the minus 9 molar, that's the enzyme concentration, so the units molar cancel out, and if we do this calculation, if we put that into a calculator, we get roughly 339,580 or so per minute. So this is how much the enzyme turns over one enzyme molecule, how much substrate molecules this enzyme will turn over per minute. But the usual um, unit for kcat is per second. So all we need to do in order to get this per second is we divide this number 339,580. We divide that by 60 seconds. And we get something like 5,000, 
660 molecules per second. So I write it as 5660 second to the minus one per second. So that would be the K-cat for this uh, enzyme. And all we need to do here was really take this dilution factor into account when we calculate the concentration of the enzyme in our solution in the reaction mix and then use this equation k cat equals v max divided by the total enzyme concentration and let's not forget to convert the minute into seconds so that we have this in a nice standard form so i hope this makes sense and thank you very much for watching